by Ms. Shareli Malhotra from CIT NCRT. Over to you, Shareli. Your voice is echoing. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Anna, for the, uh, arranging this session. Okay. Hope everybody can hear me. We can hear you. Yeah, good. good morning, everyone. Today we'll be uh, learning about something about ebooks, types of ebooks, why they are different types, why we are where we are using them, and what are their characteristics. So I hope everybody will enjoy this session. After the session, we can have the uh, doubt clearing. So first, I'll start with my screen sharing. I hope my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. It's visible now. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, some noise disturbance is there. From my side? I think, ma'am, from your side. Any ma'am, you are not audible, ma'am. Is it okay? Is this still a disturbance? Yes, ma'am. It's okay now. Actually, ma'am, somebody is saying from your side, another voice is coming. Some talk of a gen. Okay, just a second. Actually, there's an end of meeting going in another room. Now, everyone, I think uh, all of you have filled the attendance form because it will open only for a few minutes. The link was shared in the chat box. Sorry for the delay. There was another meeting going on. Is it okay now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Perfectly okay. Okay, can everybody see my screen now, right? Yes, ma'am. So today we'll be studying. Uh, we'll be knowing, not studying actually. I'll be telling something about ebooks uh, and their types. Um, we at uh, NCRT we use three types of ebooks: PDF, EPUB, and flipbook. So we'll start with ebooks. What actually are ebooks? Ebooks are electronic books. As we all know, everything is gone digital nowadays. And so is the education. Education has become digital, so we need electronic books. So electronic books are non-editable text that is converted to digital format and which can be used on electronic devices like our mobile phones, smartphone, laptops, even desktops. 
that's a uh, digital device so when we uh, give our education on um, online like this session is online so we need something to be read in the digital format these books are called e books now we have multiple on electronic devices so we need multiple uh, types also there are different types of e i mean the format of the e books are different okay so we we'll study about that format at ncert we use three types of format one is pdf that is portable document format another is flip book and another one which is more upgraded is epub electronic publication you all must be familiar with the pdf format because we it's been long now uh, it it was an early 90s by adobe uh, pdf was developed so we have used pdf a lot of times on our phones on our e lot of documents come in the pdf format which actually is an old form old format of e book any um, pdfs are actually image format the images are um, the pdfs have images actually they don't they really have text then as the um, technology uh, upgraded we have new new things everything upgraded so we have e books also upgraded now at pdf next upgraded thing is flip book flip book are like uh, as you can see on the screen it just gets flipped like in the physical books you get the flip the feel that feeling of flipping a page um, read uh, gives you the pleasure of reading a book that is incorporated in flip book but there are other uh, there are other different uh, difference between pdf and uh, flip book also which i'll explain in the next slide actually pdfs are the old image based things but flip books are the uh, upgraded virtual visual appearance of a pdf file what actually means uh, improved visual appearances like you can you have uh, different formats of the text you have different fonts in the text different colors and you have uh, you can flip the pages in a flip book but not in pdf pdfs are generally an image which are black and white and which are dull which are not really uh, good to appear another important feature difference between pdfs and flip books are pdfs are non auditable what do you mean by non auditable actually you see there is no, no software which can read the uh, text of the pdfs because pdf is an image it's not a text so nobody is able to read it but in flip books we have a feature called text to speech there are some software available like one of the example is N nvda if you in a, install N nvda on your electronic device it will read the text so the text which is in the flip book can be read you don't have to read it you can listen to it that's very important for special children for blind people for elderly people or for ourselves also if some if sometime we don't want to read actually we can listen to a book so that's a very important feature which is in flip book which is not available in our pdf another thing is if you want to open in pdf you first have to download it whenever you click a pdf it asks you to download it but that's not the case in flip book you can open a flip book on your device and start reading it as it is and one of the other important difference is that the pdfs are format version specific like old uh, version of pdf will not open in your new smartphone and uh, in your new version of pdf will no, not open in your old smartphone but that's not the case with flip book flip book are not device specific one more important uh, difference in between the characteristics of pdf and flip book is which i have not mentioned i forgot to mention here is that you can incorporate audio and video files in your flip book which cannot be done in the pdf fine next we upgrade to epubs epub are electronic publication now the uh, when technology developed we have different sizes of electronic devices like you have a um, smartphone of size 5 also 5 7 also and then you have tablets then you have laptops the pdfs don't uh, fit into the small smartphones it will if they have the fixed size but epub are 
reflowable. Reflowable means that when you open it in different size of devices, it will adjust accordingly. The font will be adjusted. Matlab, it will not be very, like the PDF when it opens, it will have the same format whenever you open it on any device, any size of device. That's not the case with EPUB. EPUB is reflowable. It will take the size of the screen and adjust the text. Another important difference is that uh, same audible and text to speech feature. Text to speech feature is there in EPUB, but not in PDFs. As I already explained, PDFs are image files, but EPUBs are text files. Actually, EPUBs are soft. We, when we convert a file, when we convert a book to EPUB, we used we use software. It's a uh, technical thing. We use XML, we use HTML, we use style sheets. So we are able to uh, style the text different colors, different fonts, which is not possible in PDF. And the other important thing is PDF is device specific, format specific, which is not the case with EPUB. Now in this slide, I'm just trying to compare both EPUBs and PDFs in the in the technical aspects, like the device compatibility. As I told you, the EPUB will be same across all the devices. Your PCs, your tablets, your phone, everybody, every device will be able to open the EPUB. But PDFs are version specific, like the old PDF will not open in your new device and vice versa. Next is the content update. The, uh, the content in the EPUBs can be automatically updated because it is through a server, it's on through a cloud. But in PDFs, you cannot do that because it's an image thing, so you have to first manually export the thing and then change it. Content scaling, like I told you, it can automatically take the size of the device, which PDF cannot. Other thing is flowable format with dynamic content pieces. And then we have graphics. You can uh, add dynamically in the EPUBs. You can give a link, you can add an audio video, which cannot be done in PDF. And font size, as I told you, can be changed in EPUBs, but with, it is not possible with PDF. Only you have to zoom in if you have uh, that facility in your phone or your device. Next thing is, these are the places where we have we are using different types of uh, eBooks. Like on NCRT official sites, we have PDFs, the old version, and we are still using them. On Diksha, we have eBooks, which are generalized textbooks, actually. I'll just tell you what are generalized textbooks in a while. And then we are on ePartshala. ePartshala website, we have flipbook, but ePartshala mobile app, we have ePub format, which you can, you can, uh, which you can check. I'll just show you. I'll just show you. On NCRT website, on NCRT website, under publications, we have PDFs. We have PDFs from all the classes in three different languages. So this is our book, which is in PDF format. You cannot actually change the size. You will have to zoom in. But if you are using EPUB, it will just take it itself. Okay. Next we have Diksha. I've just opened, I've already opened a book on Diksha. I'm taking out of time. Okay, I'll just show you in a while. And on EPUB, we have flip books on the website, but on the uh, app, you can see a flip book, uh, EPUB also. See, this is a flip book.
Sabi niya, internet is pretty slow. You can check it yourself. Actually, these are flip books which flips the pages. My internet is a bit slow. So we'll go next to energized textbooks. What what actually are energized textbooks? Energized textbook is a feature in which we add a QR code. You can see this. We add a QR code to the physical book which can be scanned and you can uh, see the digital content related to that topic on your device, on your electronic device, whatever the device is. If you scan this QR code, if you scan this QR code, you will be able to see all the digital content related to this topic. Like uh, the example I'm showing is, this is a chemical reaction chapter and it's having a QR code. If I scan this QR code on my mobile phone or on my tab, it will take me to the digital content of uh, this chapter. It, all the digital content, that ca that digital content can be an ebook, that can be an audio file or a video file. Okay. So what actually is a QR code? Now that we'll be doing, uh, that's an interesting thing we'll be studying. What actually is a QR code? QR code is a quick response code. What is uh, what actually it means is QR code is uh, just an image, a barcode image, which is readable by smartphones, which are um, which are readable which are readable by our electronic devices, and it will take us to the digital content of that device of that topic, like. Um, any topic like I show you in the previous example. So what actually we are using nowadays, everybody is using digital smartphones and everything. So you, we have books with a QR code, which can take them to digital content. And there are some QR scanners, latest smartphones and devices already have QR scanners in, uh, incorporated in them, in build. Uh, but otherwise also you can do it through your uh, camera phone and you can download it from Apple or Google uh, Play Store also. And we have ePartshala scanner also. You can download ePartshala scanner from Google App Store and that will scan the uh, QR code on your textbook and take it to you, to you to the digital content. And you can do it from Google also. Nowadays Google has given this feature of the camera which can scan your uh, QR code. Next, this uh, this is an important topic we're going to do. I'll just tell you how to generate a QR code through Google Stipe. What uh, actually uh, we are trying to do is, if you want a QR code for your book, for your um, school, for your state, uh, you have different books and you want to make them gen uh, Energize, so you need to generate QR code. What actually is QR code? QR code behind it's an image, and behind that image is a URL. URL means that the uh, website where you have kept the digital content, the digital book. So the uh, for one you are, if you want to uh, create for one, you can simply go to Google and type how to generate a QR code. You have to put your URL there and it will generate a QR code. But I'll be telling you for the bulk creation. Bulk creation means maybe you have 10 or 15 books and each book has uh, 10, 15, 20 chapters. So uh, for then if 10 books are there and you have 15 chapters, then you have 150 QR code to be generated, which will take a lot of time if you go through Google and type one URL and then one. So we'll be doing it a bulk thing. So what actually you need for bulk QR code generation is a Gmail account. So I'll show you how we do that. This is my Gmail account. I'll open my Gmail. Okay. In my Gmail, 
I'll go to drive. My drive. Okay. From my drive, I will go to new. And it will take me to Google Sheets. So I'll open a blank sheet, spreadsheet. Okay. You can give a name to this site, this sheet. So what we have to do is we'll have to make four columns. First is domain URL. Domain URL means where the website on where I'll be going to keep my software thing, the digital book. Then you have code. You get this code from your publisher. This is the code of the book. Every book which is published has a code that we need here. Then we have complete URL. Complete URL is the complete URL for which we are creating a QR code. And here we get a QR code. So for for domain URL, I'm using ePatshala because uh, we have kept our digital content on ePatshala. So, see, this is the URL I'm using. This is the URL of ePartshala because my digital content is kept on ePartshala. For code, I'll have to get from my publisher. Right now, for an example, I'm using any code. Then we have ch, that is chapter 01. Generally, chapter start from 01, so I'm using chapter 01. So ch01 is the for first chapter. Then for complete URL, what I'm doing is I'm using a style sheet function that is concatenate con yeah. what i'll be doing it value one means this value i want to put a2 a2 is the value i'm using and another because i want to concat uh, concatenate both the things domain url and code so next will be b2 as you can see, this is B, B column, and this is B2 cell, so this is concatenate. And when you click here, the complete URL, you will get a complete URL. Complete URL actually is domain URL plus code. So that is this thing. Now for creating a QR code, I'm using an open, open source API from QRIC. Kit. QRIC kit is a, a so API um, provides API which is an open source. Open source means anybody can use it. It's a free and open source, so anybody can use this uh, QRIC kit, this API to generate the QR code. So I'm using the API of this company, this software. So what actually is, it's an image and then I'm using this QR IC kit API and then that text may I have put B2, B2 is this complete URL and then this is the size, you can change the size and then 
this QR code will be generated if you click here. I hope any everybody can see this QR code generated image. Right. This is for the first chapter of the book. Now I want to create it for ten chapters of the book. So what I'll do is I'll just select it and I'll drag it to ten. Right. And I'll drag this also to ten. See, when I drag, I've got different chapter numbers. TH one, two, three, four, five, all till ten. Now I'll drag this complete URL, so I'll get the complete URL for ten chapters of a book. Right. And now I've used this API, and I'll drag this also to get ten QR codes in one second. I hope everybody can see this that we have created 10 QR codes in within minutes. Actually, not even a minute. But if you do it one by one, it will take lot of time. Now, what we have to do is we have to save this. So we'll do download this as PDF. So that will it in the PDF format. You can export it. It will come to your computer to your desktop. Right now you have got this PDF. From this PDF, you can extract this image. You can use Adobe software, or you can do it from the uh, Google also. You can uh, do PDF to image converter. You will get this image for each chapter, and you can give this to your publisher or the editor. He can put it on the each chapter, and your book becomes an energized textbook. Right. Any query? Any questions regarding this? Ma'am, there is a question to repeat. From where you get the domain URL? Okay, what domain URL is actually is I have used e Partshala domain for domain URL. First, you will have to make the digital content of your book, the of the chapter which you want to energize. The digital content you will put it on a website on the website of your school or your organization. That is the domain you are. Okay. So, what actually what actually is QR code? QR when QR code scans, it will go to a URL. Na that URL should have the soft digital content of the chapter where you want to take this. So first. The pre-request for this QR code generation is you have to make your digital content. You have to make the digital content of the book and put it on a website. Then you create a URL. Then you'll get a URL, and then for that URL you create a QR code. Okay. What is the target of the QR? Target of the QR code. Um, I didn't get your question. And B, if you want to make a generalized book, energized book. Energized book means if you want a um, soft um, that the physical uh, book is having a QR code, it will be able to go to the digital content. Hello. Yeah, I'll be sharing this PPT on the um, we uh, the page we have on the website, CIT website. Repeat the process of API. Okay, API. Actually, what I'm telling is that 
there is a uh, this qr ic kit okay this is a company this is a software which which is free and open source and anybody can use to generate a qr code so i am using the api from this uh, to generate the qr code on my style sheet okay repeat the whole process do you want me to repeat the whole process anyone who, who has a question they may unmute and ask directly yeah, ma'am yeah. there is a one question that can he make a qr code for a youtube video of his own yeah he can a qr code can be generated for any url because a youtube uh, is a url you will get a url na when you create your video on youtube you'll get a url so you can generate a qr code also but for that you don't have to go through all this process this is for the bulk thing you can simply go to google and write generate qr code so you will be able to do, do that i'm just showing you can generate qr code what you have to do is you have to put your url here and it will generate a qr code here right and you'll get a qr code static qr code what i am telling is this is for a bulk bulk means if you have 20 books and you want to generate uh, 20 books have 10 chapters so you have 200 qr codes if you do it by this you will be able to do it in 20 minutes okay so somebody wants me to repeat the process so i'll just in a short i'll do it again pinky i'll i'm just doing it again okay okay everyone please pay attention i am is going to repeat the process okay so you have to go to your gmail account from there you get it from uh, to your drive what to your drive and you get a style sheet okay on the style sheet i'm using four columns four main columns number one is domain name domain name means the digital content where your book your soft copy of the book your digital content it, it could be anything it could be audio video whatever digital content you have put you have must you must be putting it on some some website of your organization's website of your state of your school whatever website that website will be having a url so i am using epatchala as an example because we have our digital content on epatchala okay then the next column is code code is the code of the book every publisher publish a book then there is a code you will get this code from your publisher okay like for example i have used 1064 as the code and then i have used ch01 ch01 is chapter 01 every book starts with chapter 01 so i am using ch01 okay then i am using next column is complete url complete url means the combination of this url plus the code the code of the chapter so i use the soft i use the function called concat concat is the function i am using this is the function of the style sheet when you use concat and then i use a bracket a2 a2 means this cell and then b2 means this cell and then when you concatenate we get the complete url complete url of this chapter that this chapter is pre uh, present on this website uh, at this place okay then for generation of the qr code i have used a api api of qr ic kit qr ic kit is an open source anybody can generate from i have just shown this website also anybody can generate qr code using this api fine so i have used this api i have you because the qr code is an image so i'll use image this is again a function of the style sheet then i'm using this api and i'm using this b2 as the um, function uh, url and then this is the size and then this c2 c2 is the complete url and when i use this api and click here i'll get the qr code which is generated for particular 
chapter right then i dragged it i just hold it and drag it so i'll get for 10 15 how many chapters i want i'll get that to our code fine then what i did is i now I, what actually i want is this generated qr code this image i want to give this to my publisher so that he can put on the book on each chapter and anybody can scan and go there for for that what i do is i go to download and i save this as pdf and i export it export karke this will come to your desktop your computer then you can extract the image is from this pdf which can be done easily through google or if you have a adobe software you can easily do it otherwise from google also you can do it you extract this image and give to your publisher your editor he'll put this on the books and your books will become energized books i hope it's clear now you can unmute and ask the question i think now we can have the question answer session right ah uh, hello ma'am yeah uh the api url address you 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 put it there after the image formula right in yeah. the uh, open brackets uh, uh how you decide that that uh, uh add text and uh, the complete url that is should from, be in that that uh, we get from here only in this page you can okay. get that how to use this Okay, okay. In that website, they are given the instruction, huh? Yes, 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 yes. Otherwise, okay. also I'll share these steps because in my PPT I have written all the steps, so I'll share that. You can use from there also. Okay, you okay. You don't have to. You don't have to change anything except the size. You can change, and obviously the cell from where we you are uh, getting your complete URL. Otherwise, you can use the same thing, the same um, function. Okay. 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 anything else can we save those cells as uh, images uh no you will have to uh, you will have to generate a pdf not be able to save as image i don't think so yeah you will have to generate a pdf and then extract the images okay. that is very easy okay okay thank you process it's not a difficult thing Ma'am, I have a question. question. Ma'am, I have a question. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, you generated the first QR by you know I I understood the steps that you know the domain complete URL and the the QR, but how to replicate all you know, ma'am? How to select and replicate? That's the function of the style sheet. You just have just see if you just select the cell and this okay. square comes, the small okay, square comes. now okay. you can see a uh, plus sign i yes, hold that with my mouse and i can okay. go up to like this scrolling see okay okay it will go okay. like this okay okay ma'am thank you ma'am is the code required for every uh, qr code means you i think if if i want to create some uh, video source qr codes in a single page or a single lesson then the code is required for each and every uh, video Uh, can you please repeat? I didn't get you. So I think you you have you gave the quotes for video, me. Right? Uh, yeah. So my uh, uh, my doubt is, ma'am, uh, is the code required for each and every QR code? Suppose if this code, if, you mean to see this code? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. This is the code of the chapter of the book. If you want to relate your video with the book, then you obviously need the chapter number, right? So obviously, obviously, you need the book code also. Okay. Now, if I take uh, the lesson, if there is a two or three activities are there in the lesson, then if I want to relate the QR code in the same lesson, suppose I need four QR codes in the same lesson, then I should allot a code for each and every activity that I am going to generate the QR code. We to say that the chapter has four activities. Yeah. And uh, all of them have the um, videos, right? Yeah. So that will come under same one chapter only, na? So one code should uh, yeah, enough for that. Yes, yes, yes. So, right. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, one more doubt regarding PDF. Yeah. Uh, you just explained that PDF F doesn't have text-to-speech option, right? Yeah. Uh, 
you mean to say that we'll speak and it will type automatically or the content what they have typed will be announced that the whatever is written in the book will be uh, you will be able audible. to listen it it will be yeah, audio but, yeah but audible. all the pdf have got the features latest pdf have got na but the P, the old pdf version doesn't have this uh, you need to get you need to download a software for this right no 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 directly pdf reader only will uh, get the option does that read the images also not the image thing. image text because some pdfs have image text right they don't they are not text based they are image based the old ones no no they don't it won't support text uh, image yeah that's what i'm saying na some old pdfs are image image based so that is not supported the latest one are obviously are okay 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 we can conclude the session okay if no more question i'll are there. share i'll share the ppt um, so that you can share it with the yes ma'am we will share with you all okay thank you so much ma'am for giving such a information creating qr code because you uh, you might get the uh, opportunity to create qr code for many resources uh, so from shalini ma'am we could learn thank you so much ma'am ma and please. now we will move on to the you, our you. next part of the session that is creating action plans for next year that is 2000